G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we are going to be looking at how to master your times tables, especially your upper times tables, are uh, under 10. And this will be, you'll be able to do this in under 10 minutes. You'll be able to get much, much better at these. Uh, this is a great little trick. Um, now, it does require a couple of things. It requires you, first off, it's really, really handy with these to know your ones, twos, threes times tables. Okay, we're going to be looking at how you can master, say, your sevens, your eights, your nines, even your sixes pretty rapidly. But it would be good to know your ones, twos, and threes types times tables. It's also really good to be able to add and subtract. Pretty simple numbers. Okay, so without much further ado, we'll get into these and I'll show you how the, the trick on working these out. So, what about I give you an example? Uh, say I was asking to calculate seven times nine okay nice and easy I'll move it up there a little bit and we want to work this out now first off the way we do this trick is as follows underneath I'm just going to write how far these numbers are from 10 so this 7 here is 3 away from 10 this 7 plus 3 is 10 and this 9 here how far away is that from 10 it's 1 away okay so we've got two numbers underneath all right, that's our first step. The second step is we're going to subtract these numbers diagonally, and I'll show you what I mean by this. Okay, so this means either we're going to take 1 from 7 or 3 from 9. It's going to give us the same answer, and that's going to be the first part of our answer. Okay, so 7 take away 1 is 6. The same way 9 take away 3 is 6. The next thing we do is we're going to multiply these two numbers here. Okay, so 3 times 1 is 3. And that is our answer. Pretty easy, right? Yeah. Uh, so our steps we're going to do first off, remember, we see how far we are from 10. Okay, we write those underneath. We then diagonally subtract, and then we multiply these bottom numbers. But they're really, really easy numbers to multiply. Okay. What about I uh, give you another example here? I did say this was going to be nice and easy, didn't I? <laughs> All right. What about we have another look here, and we'll have a look at what about eight times seven? Okay. So first off, what we do is we see how far underneath ten we are. So this is two under ten, and this is three under ten. Okay, and the next thing we diagonally subtract. So 7 take away 2 is 5. Or 8 take away 3 is also 5. And then we multiply these two numbers. 2 times 3 is 6. That's pretty cool, right? So it's a really, really easy way of working these out. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a couple more of these to practice and then we'll, we'll call that a day almost, I reckon. So what about uh, a couple more of these? What about we do 9 times 9? We do uh, 9 times 6? We also are going to do 7 times 7. Now, give these a quick go and... We'll see how you go. So I'm going to answer these right now, but you can pause the video and then we'll go through these answers. So, first off, this is 1 under 10. This is 1 under 10. Okay, so 9 take away 1 is 8. 1 times 1 is 1. The next one, 9 times 6. This is 9 is 1 under 10. 6 is 4 under 10. 9 take away 4 is 4. Five. The same way 6 take away 1 is 5. 1 times 4 is 4. Okay, the last one. How are you going so far? Probably good, I hope. What about this next one? This is 3 under 10. This is 3 under 10. Okay. 7 take away 3 is 4. And then 3 times 3 is 9. How easy is that for learning your times tables? Now, look... I still think it's really, really important that you do learn your times tables. I mean, do you need to learn these upper times tables? Look, now you've got this method, it means you probably could get away with not doing it. Uh, so you don't have to memorise your tables like in the past, possibly, 
because with a little practice what happens is you'll do seven times eight and you'll calculate it <laughs> listen face it you'll calculate it a dozen times you'll just start remembering the answers and that sort of deal so you'll have learned your times tables all right um but it's a really really great method especially when you're starting those particular uh times tables out anyway i hope that was some help i hope you enjoyed that we'll see you next time